it's the talk of the town. Everyone is talking about it. AI, machine learning, we're going to learn how it relates to AWS right now. But first, let's start off with what exactly is AI and machine learning? Because these terms get thrown about a lot. Is there a difference? Uh, there actually is. So AI is like this umbrella term for all artificial intelligence. And then machine learning is like a subtopic under artificial intelligence. While artificial intelligence is about trying to create a computer that thinks you know, intelligently, kind of like a human. Machine learning is the actual models and the teaching of a machine to achieve that result. It's very rare to find any sort of AI that doesn't involve some sort of machine learning. The machine learning is where you're taking huge amounts of data and then you're using that to actually train and teach a machine to, to think. But really, it, it, it's not quite at that level, but there's a whole bunch of tools that do a lot of the heavy lifting for us, and we can make really good use of those through AWS. Let's check them out. There's three different levels of AI and machine learning services here. We have number one, AI services, number two, machine learning services, and then number three, we have our machine learning frameworks and infrastructure services. So AI services are pre-built, ready-to-use AI models that are more for specific tasks. So think about language translation, image recognition, or even text-to-speech. You don't need any sort of in-depth knowledge or understanding of how it's all going on behind the scenes. You can just use them as they are. Machine learning models, on the other hand, take it a little bit more of a step back where you have some more control over the customization. In this one, you're not really using a ready-made tool. You're more actually setting up the foundations to train a model in your particular area. So this is for more if you want to set up your own AI that's specializing in something that doesn't already exist, then you can use these machine learning models to actually get that going for you. And then we have these machine learning frameworks and infrastructure, which is where you're building these entire machine learning models from the ground up. So there's kind of levels of handholding, I guess here, where AI services have the highest level, you don't have to do as much. Machine learning is like an in-between, and then the infrastructure ones is where you're just building it from the ground up. Totally up to you, but let's have a look at the services that AWS actually has that we can have a play around with and see what's going on. There are a whole bunch of different services available, so we're just gonna run through them at a very high level. We're going to start with SageMaker, which is about building and retraining machine learning models. Now, Netflix actually uses this to make content recommendations for the end users. Then we have Amazon Personalized, which is all about making personalized recommendations for every single individual. Coca-Cola is a great example of this, who are tailoring their marketing advertisements to suit every individual person. Then we have Amazon Recognition, which identifies objects or animals or people or faces in pictures and videos. Airbnb is actually using this for security checks at their host's houses. Amazon Comprehend is about taking out to the meaning behind text. So more about understanding the emotions or what's actually written in large amounts of text that may not be said clearly, the whole reading between the lines. A great example is a news company that uses Comprehend for sentiment analysis on all of their financial articles that are going out. Then Amazon Polly, which converts text into lifelike voices. So Duolingo is using this for language exercises. Amazon Lex, which creates chatbots, what banks are using on their websites to interact with customers and be that front line of customer service. And then Amazon Translate, which is a translation between languages service. Again, Airbnb is actually using this to translate between different users who speak different languages, but are interested in the same place to stay. There is so much going on with AWS and machine learning and AI. It's a super exciting and developing field. So I would really recommend you jump in, have a play around with some of these services and have some fun. Happy learning, see you next time.